in this video, I want to do some examples, uh, exponentially uh, solving exponential and log equation using log logarithm or log rule. So let me write the basic log rule. The basic root log rule is like this. If a to the power, or let me write b to the power, x is equal to y, this is exponent form, then this implies log or this double implies log base b I'll write uh, of x b to the so this is how I remember so b to the power x is equal to y so let me give you some examples so what does this mean this means say if it is 2 to the power 4 is 16 this is exponent form so the same thing, if you want to write in the log form, this implies log base 2 is equal to 4 of 16. I always write like this in this order so that I don't have to remember. I only remember like this, 2 to the power 4 is 16. But let me do one more example. Say 3 to the power, say, 5 is 243. You can use a calculator. 2 to the power 5 is 243. So the same thing can also be written like log base 3 is equal to 5 of 243. So log base so 3 to the power 5 is 243. And there's one more rule. So this is, you can say, this is the basic definition of log. Okay, so I should try this is the basic definition of log. Okay, there's also one more rule. Uh, I'll show, I'll not prove this rule, but log base b of a is log a divided by log b. Okay, so I'll explain this in, indirectly. So these are the two rules. If you know these two rules, we can solve any log equation or exponential equation. So let's, basically you can prove this from here. So what are we saying? Suppose if someone is asking me, what is log base, say two of say 16? So I know the answer is four. Why, how do I know it's four? Because two to the power of four is 16. So writing from log form, we know 2 to the power of 4 is 16, so log base 2 of 16 has to be 4. Now how can you get this answer using a calculator? You can, if you press log 16 divided by log 2, that will give you 4. So let me show this on the calculator. Okay, so let me scroll this. So if you go to menu and run, so if you press log 16 divided by log 2, that will give you 4. Okay, so let me give you one more example. Say log base, uh, say 5 of 125. So applying this first rule, I know the answer is pi to the power of what gives you 125, so pi to the power of 3 is 125. Now to get the same answer on a calculator, I'll press log 125 divided by log 5. Divided by log 5, so let's do it again. Uh, log execute, so log 125, press log 125 divided by log 5. That will give you the answer, which is 3. Okay. So we're going to use these two to solve equations. So let me write some equation. Okay, so let me, okay, so let me rub this off now. Okay, so I don't need this. Let me use a bigger eraser. So we're just going to use these two rules. Okay, let's start with a simple equation. Say so 7 to the power x is equal to 87. So applying this rule, I can say this is same as log base 7. I'll write x here. 
87 after this. So can you read the rule? 7 to the power x is 87. So well, x applying the second rule, x is log 87. Log 87 divided by log 7. So let's check this out. So again, get a calculator out. Log 87 divided by log 7. Log 87 divided by log 7. That is 2.29. This is the whole number. Okay, so let me write. Uh, I can save this. Okay, I got this calculator here. So yeah, x is 2. Point. What's my answer? Let me get it out. Okay, this is the answer. 2.29. Okay, so x is 2.29. 9.5, so let me write up to 4 dp, 2.2950, am I right? So let me check it, 2.2950, oh, that's fine. But to check your answer, how will you check? 7 raised to answer, so this implies 7 raised to the answer, which is x, should give me 87 should give me, if you press the exact answer, so let me get my calculator, hopefully this, yeah, so if you go 7 raised to answer, that will give you 87, exactly 87, okay, so let me do one more question, question 2, okay, I'm randomly taking questions, say phi to the power x, is equal to 0 0.04. So let's use the first rule, write this in log form. So this in log, writing in log form, you can write log base 5 is equal to x of 0 0.04. This is the first rule, and applying the second rule, I can say this is log of 0 0.04 divided by log 5 log 5 is equal to x. So x is equal to, so let, let's write up to 4 dp. Again, let me get my calculator. So this is log 0 0.04 divided by log 5, which is negative 2. So answer is negative 2. So how will we check our answer? Our answer should be x raised to negative 2 should give you 0 0.04. So let's check that again. 5 raised to negative 2 equals 0 0.04. Okay, so let's do some log equations. Okay, so let me scroll it up. Okay, so what's the log equation? So let's write a crazy log equation. So log of, let me write, say, 5 of x is equal to 3.2. So what does this mean? So in log form, we can write this into exponent form. So we can say x of phi raised to x. So let me write it like this. Phi raised to 3.2 is equal to x. So now use a calculator. My calculator is already open. So phi raised to phi raised to 3.2 is a crazy number, which is 172.6462. So x is up to four decimal place. What's the answer? I keep forgetting the answer. 172.172.47. So let's up right up to 2 dp. Okay, so how will you check your answer? The same thing log of x, which is your answer, log also. If you want to check your answer, this is how you can check, log of your answer on your calculator, divided by log 5, should give you 3.2. So let's do that again. It's just applying the rule, okay? So log of the answer, so this was our answer. 
So you can say log of answer, shift answer, divided by log 5. Should give you 3.2, so your answer is right. Okay, so let's do one more question. Okay, so let's say log of, say, 3 uh, of x is equal to uh, 1 ninth. 1 over 9. So yeah, we can say, writing this in the exponent form, I can say 3 raised to 1 ninth is equal to x. So your x should be 3 raised to 3 raised to, you can use a calculator, 1 divided by 9. Okay, so let's see, again use a calculator. 3 raised to bracket 1 divided by 9, close the bracket, 1.129, okay, so the answer in 3DP is 1.129. Now to check the answer, I should get log of answer, which is x, divided by log 3, should give you 1, 9, so let's do it again. So log, you got this answer, so you go log of shift answer divided by log 3, and this is 1 ninth, and if you press F dash D, that will give you 1 ninth. F dash D is from fraction to decimal or decimal to fraction. So this is 1 ninth. Hopefully this video is helpful. So yeah, let me go over this again. So these are the two rules you need to remember to solve any log equation. One is from the exponent form. This is exponent form and this is a log form. And this rule is enough to solve any log equation.